Revisionist maximalism was a short-term movement and Jewish fascist ideology which was part of the Brit Habirianum faction of the Zionist Revisionist Movement created by Abba Ahimir. Revisionist maximalists strongly supported the Italian fascist regime of Benito Mussolini and wanted the creation of an Israel based on fascist principles. The revisionist maximalists became the largest faction in the ZRM in 1930 but collapsed in support in 1933 after Ahimir's controversial decision to support Nazi Germany due to its fascist and anti-communist stances, while opposing their anti-Semitic policies. After facing outrage, Ahimir reversed his position shortly afterwards, with revisionist maximalists attacking German consulates, but support for Ahimir did not recover and the revisionist maximalists collapsed until they were recreated in 1938 under new leadership. The label of fascist has nevertheless to be regarded with reserves because in that period as later it was used often abusively in the disputes between opposed political nonfascist fractions, as in the 1930s even the Social Democrat parties were accused by Stalin and the Communists of being «fascists» or «social fascists». In the same way in Palestine revisionist Zionists themselves were often qualified in the 1930s as «fascists». By the labor Zionist leaders and the revisionists attacked the Social Democratic Dominated General Confederation of Labor and Ben Gurion by using of terms like red swastika and comparisons with fascism and Hitler. Also, not every territorial maximalistic revendications or paramilitary practices were in the modern history identical with fascist ideology, they could be also be found among communists, social democrats, or other kinds of nationalists. History The ideology and political faction of revisionist maximalism was officially created in 1930 by Abba Ahimir, a Jewish historian, journalist, and politician, who called for the Zionist Revisionist Movement to adopt the fascist principles of the regime of Benito Mussolini in Italy to create an integralist, pure nationalism, amongst Jews. Ahimir was originally a member of the Jewish labor movement who supported the October Revolution in Russia in 1917, and called for Jews to have their own 1917, and spoke of the need for an October Revolution in Zionism. However Ahimir grew disillusioned with Russian Bolshevism which he began to see as a Russian nationalist movement rather than a movement to promote international class struggle. Having become disillusioned with communism, Ahimir grew nationalistic after the Arab-Jewish violence occurred in the British Mandate of Palestine from 1928 to 1929. Revisionist maximalism rejects communism, humanism, internationalism, liberalism, pacifism and socialism, condemned liberal Zionists for only working for middle-class Jews rather than the Jewish nation as a whole. After the rise of anti-Jewish violence in the British Mandate of Palestine one year prior, support for the Brit Habirianum faction of the ZRM sword, Brit Habirianum quickly became the largest faction within the ZRM in 1930. In 1930, Brit Habirianum under Ahimir's leadership publicly declared their desire to form a fascist state at the conference of the ZRM, saying, It is not the masses whom we need, but the minorities. We want to educate people for the Great Day of God War or World Revolution, so that they will be ready to follow the leader blindly into the greatest danger. Not a party but an orden, a group of private people, devoting themselves and sacrificing themselves for the great goal. They are united in all, but their private lives and their livelihood are the matter of the orden. Iron discipline, cult of the leader on the model of the fascists, dictatorship, Abba Achimer, 1930. Ahimir claimed that the Jewish people would outlast Arab rule in the region of Palestine, saying, We fought the Egyptian pharaoh, the Roman emperors, the Spanish Inquisition, the Russian czars. They defeated us. But where are they today? Can we not cope with a few despicable muftis or sheikhs? For us, the forefathers, the prophets, the zealots were not mythological concepts. Abba Achimer, 1930. Revisionist maximalism and the Brit Habirianum movement were fierce opponents of pacifism, while promoting militarism and demonstrated in 1932 against Norman Bentwich's inaugural lecture on peace to which Ahimir saying that, "...it is not a cathedral to international peace in the name of Bentwich that we need, but a military academy in the name of Zayev Jabotinsky," and said, "...we can defend the honor of Israel." 
not by filling our bellies with lectures on peace, but rather by learning the doctrine of Jabotinsky." Brit Hibirianum demonstrators outside handed out leaflets declaring that peace studies were the work of Satan and were an anti-Zionist measure, a stab in the back of Zionism. Ahimir believed that his ideology would constitute a neo-revisionism within the Zionist movement that he criticized, and advocated it at a meeting of the Hatzohar movement in Vienna in 1932, saying, Zionism is imbued with the ghetto and pronouncements. The path to Jewish sovereignty has to cross a bridge of steel, not a bridge of paper. I bring to you a new form of social organization, one that is free of principles and parties. I bring you neo-revisionism. In 1932, Brit Habirianum pressed the ZRM to adopt their policies which were titled the Ten Commandments of Maximalism, which were made in the spirit of complete fascism. Moderate ZRM members refused to accept this and moderate ZRM member Yaakov Kahan pressured Brit Habirianum to accept the democratic nature of the ZRM and not push for the party to adopt fascist dictatorial policies. See also Fascism in Asia Kahanism References, <references>